you're welcome to my channel so we are going to be handling container accounts in this video so before we do a number you must understand what container accounts is and what it is all about so container accounts as you know a container it's something that you it is used for keeping things so when you are preparing container accounts we are preparing accounts for those items that keep our things examples of containers that we have we have bottles of soda crates of soda maybe drums things like polythene bags so So for containers, so for containers, we have two types of containers. We have the returnable containers and then the non-returnable containers. Yeah. Returnable containers are those that are brought back. Like after being used, they bring them back. Then the non-returnable containers, they are not brought back. Sorry? Yeah, the non-returnable containers are not brought back. Yeah, so we have two types. We have the returnable and then the non-returnable. The, the non-returnable are things like polythene bags. Every time you go to a supermarket, you buy something, they pack for you in a polythene bag. But after you using the things, you don't return that polythene bag. So those are non-returnable containers. Uh, the returnable containers are things like maybe crates of sodas, like every time those shops that sell so there's every time they buy they have to return those crates yeah, they have to return those crates and those are what we call the returnable containers returnable containers are returned to the company then the non-returnable containers are not returned when we are preparing Container accounts, we only prepare accounts for the returnable containers. Because the non-returnable containers, like when they when they are selling things to you in the supermarket, like they already include the price of that caveira that they give to you. They already include it in the price of the product. Yeah, they include it on the price of the product. So there is no need to prepare accounts for the for the non-returnable containers yeah, we only prepare accounts for the returnable containers the containers that are returned to the company so we have we have some kittens that we always deal with in container accounts So we have things like we have the cash price. The cash price is the cost of the containers paid by the company. The cost of the containers paid by the company, it's what we call the cost price. And for the, the, the companies that make sodas, they are not the ones that make the crates of sodas. They also just buy the crates of sodas. Yes, so the price at which they buy those crates, it's what we call the, it's what we call the cash price. Cash price or cost price, any. Then for sorry, cost 
price, cost, not cash. It's cost price. Then we have um, charge out price. Charge out price, and this is the price at which the containers are charged to the customers. Like when customers come to buy sodas, they have to take the sodas, but when the sodas are in crates. So you will remember like when we were young, okay, maybe some of you were not yet there, but when we were young, like if we used to go buy soda, those glass sodas, eh? if you, if the soda is 1K, they used to retain your, your balance. Like they tell you, if you bring back the bottle, we shall give you your balance. And that's what we call the charge out price. Like for companies, in case them, let me say retailer goes there to buy sodas, and then a crate of soda is 10,000. A crate of soda is 10,000, so they will charge extra 2,000 for the crate. So it will be 10,000. It's with, it will be 12,000. Yeah, it will be 12,000. It's what they will charge the customer. And that extra 2,000 is what we call the charge out price. The 2,000. So the charge out price is the price at which containers are charged. To the customers, the two thousand that I've said. An example. Then we have the credit back price. Credit back price. So the credit back price, like when they bring back the credit, so of course the company has to give the customers back their money. Yeah, and that money that they give back to the customers is what we call the credit back price. Like the example that we gave, when they are selling out, they retain 2,000. So when they retain 2,000, when the customers bring back the containers, maybe they can return like one five. So one five becomes the credit back price. They do not return the whole money, they return parts. So, one five credit back price is the money that is given back to the customers when they return back the containers and the containers are still in good condition and they have to return them within the specified period because a company can be like you're supposed to return our containers within two months if you go beyond two months we shall, we shall consider it like you will not return them like you retain them for yourself so for credit back, it is the price that is given back to the customers, that is given back to the customers when they return the containers and the containers are still in good condition. And they are supposed to return them within the specified period. That is the credit back price. Then we have the higher charge. And the higher charge is the difference between the charge out price and the credit back price, which is 2000 minus 1500. The 500 is the higher charge. Yeah. So those are some of the key terms in container accounts. Then we have, um, we have two accounts when it comes to container accounts, and that is container stock account container stock accounts it, it, it reports the stock of containers both in the warehouse and in the hands of the customers so in the hands of the customers and then in the warehouse. That is the container stock account. There is a video 
on that playlist of accounting to intermediate, so that has the formatting of the container stock account. Then we, the, the, the second one that we have is the container suspense account. The container suspense account. This one, the container account it records containers in the hands of the customers. In the hands of the customers and there is a video on that playlist of accounting to intermediate accounting that shows the formatting of the container suspense account. So we are going to have an example. This is the example is this here to down here that from here to here. So the question says RRC Limited dispatches goods in returnable container. So they have already specified returnable containers and we say we only prepare container accounts for returnable containers. So RRC Limited dispatches goods in returnable containers. The containers are bought from the manufacturer from the manufacturer at 15,000. So our cash price, not cash, cost price, the cost price, the cost price is 15,000. The cost price is 15,000. Then, but a valued at 10,000. So here we, we also have the depreciable value. Depreciable value under the key terms. Depreciable value. This is the amount at which stock is valued for stock taking purposes. So here the depreciable value that I've given us is 10,000 for stock taking purposes stock is valued at 10,000 so our depreciable amount of value of price it is 10,000 then the said customers are charged 25,000 per credit so customers are charged 25,000 per credit which is the charge out price so the charge out price is 25,000. Then of which 20,000 is refunded when the credit is returned. So when they return the credit, they give them back 20,000. So 20,000 is the, is the credit back price. So the credit back price is 20,000. Then the saying at the beginning of the year 2011, RSU was holding, so this is like opening stock. RSU was holding 1750 containers at the premises, and that is in the warehouse. Then 1460 were in the hands of the customers. That is opening balance, but in the hands of the customers. Then the funding 
that's the end of the year. So given us the closing balances. Then during the year, our receivable was 2,000 credits. These are the purchases that we made during the year. 2,000 credits and then um, and charged out 5,660. These are the containers that we sent to the customers. Then Five thousand one hundred four credits were returned by customers. These are containers returned. Then shillings one point seven was obtained from one seventy scrap of credits. This is scrap like scrap. They or they have containers that they have used for a long time that are no longer useful, so they decide to sell them off, and that's what we call scrap. Then 36 were retained by the customers. These are containers retained. They, they did not return them. Yeah, containers retained. Then the company in part 257 in making damaged crates useful. They, this is repair. They repair the containers. Yeah. Then required, they want us to prepare the container stock account and the container size. So we shall start with the container stock account. We have details. Quantity. We have rate. We have amount. Then details. Quantity. Rate. Amount. So debit and credit. So this is the format of the container stock account. It looks like this. Stock is an asset. It increases by debiting, reduces by crediting, and it has a normal debit balance. So it means that the opening balance we are going to put it here. So balance brought down. But we are going to have two opening balances. That is balance in the at the premises, then in the hands of the customer. But here we say the container stock accounts deals with two things. The containers in the hands of the customers and the containers in the warehouse or in the premises. So here yeah, that the balance rolled down we put for premises. And then we put for customers like that. So here, here they have told us at the beginning of the year, RSC holding was having 170, 170 containers in its premises. So in its premises, it was 170 somewhere here. Here. Yeah, at the beginning, something. So 170 is the quantity. 170. So when we are writing the rates for the opening balances and then the closing balances in the container stock account, we use this the depreciable amount. They, can, they, they, they will not tell you that this is a depreciable amount, but they will tell you that for stock purposes, containers are valued at this. So that, that, that is the amount that they 
for stock taking purposes, containers are value like this. So that amount is the one that we take. So here it is 10,000. So we get this and this. And what we get is the amount, which is 1,750. No, it is 17 million. Like that. Then in the hands of the customers, the opening balance in the hands of the customers was 460. It's somewhere here. It's here. Here, here. While 460 were held by the customer. So that is with one four sixty then times the depreciable value for stock taking purposes the value for stock taking purposes and amount this time this which is which is more fourteen six hundred like that then when they purchase containers it means that the stock for containers is increasing. So we debit this account with the purchases. And here they told us, they told us that during the year, RSC bought 2,000 containers here. During the year, RSC bought 2,000 presses. Here, here. 2,000 crates. So those are the purchases. So we come here and rate purchases. The quantity is 2,000. The, the rate is the cost price. This one of 15. So 15. So we use the calculator. Two thousand and fifteen thousand. We get thirty million. So thirty million is the amount for here. Then. In, co in case containers are repaired, when you repair something, you're making something that was useless to become useful. So it increases on the stock of containers. So we also debit it here. So repairs. Repairs here. So you see what can repair. They said the company got 257 in making damaged crates useful. They didn't give us the rate and then they said, but they gave us the amount. So we just take the amount, which is 257. Like that. Then you go this side. This side, in case of in case of containers retained by the customers, like when customers refuse to return the containers, they are reducing on the container stock that you have. So this side, we put containers retained.
containers retained. So here they say At the beginning of the year 2011, RRC holding under the Southern Balance, the price money figures up for the end. Then during the year, RRC holds the Southern Trends, it's charged out 556 to customers, then 55 was returned, then 170 was obtained from scrapped containers, then of 36 containers we retain by customers. So 36 we retain. 36, then you multiply with the charge out price. No, the credit back price, the money that they would have given back to the customers in case they return those containers, which is this. The credit back. Which is 2000. So 36 times 2000. Which is 72,000. Then we, we also have scrap. In case they sell the damaged containers, it means that you're reducing on the stock of containers in the in the company. So scrap I told us 1.7 was obtained from 170 scrapped containers. So scrap they scrapped of 170 containers. And then the rate is 10,000. They were sold at 10,000 each. 10,000? One, no. Ten thousand, yeah, ten thousand. So this time this you get that. Then if the opening balance is the same, the closing balance will be the same. So balance carried down by the premises, then in the hands of the customer. At the premises, then in the hands of the customers, they have given us here the corresponding figures at the end. It is already given at the end, so it is three zero two one. Then in the hands of the customers, it's one nine eight. You use this the value for stock taking purpose, which is ten thousand. So this time this you get thirty two one zero like that. Then this time this you get one nine eight. Zero. Like that. Then we have the higher charge also. Higher charge, the higher charge is beside is the difference between the charge out price and the credit back price. And here the difference between these two is five thousand. So what the higher charge? 
charge the, the containers that we send to the customer, which we they will link. The containers charged to the customers were five six six three. So five six six three then times this the five thousand. What you get is the higher charge. Which is five six six three times five thousand. Which is two eight three one five zero zero. That is the higher chart. Then after you balance, you balance is only the amount called me, this on the credit side and this on the debit side. Then you see which side is greater. If the credit side is greater than the debit, it's a a profit. If the if this is greater, if the debit is greater than the credit, it is a loss. Yeah. And that is it so seventy two thousand plus one point seven. you balance you see which side is greater if the credit side is greater than the debit it is a profit if the credit if the debit is greater than the credit then it is a loss and in this case we had a profit and this is the container stock account then we also wanted the container suspense account so we prepare the container suspense Container suspense account. So for container suspense, sorry, like details quantity red then amount. Then this side, same thing. Details. Yeah. 
point between red amount like that. So for the something like that because when because in this case like when you when you change out containers to the customers you retain their money so the customers are demanding you so the opening balance is already the same it has a normal debit so and it only deals with um, it only deals with the uh, things in the hands of the customers. So it's only for customers. Eh? So for the balance brought down, we take the opening balance, but only for customers. This the one we used here. One four sixty. One four sixty. Then in this account we use the credit mark price. In this account we use the credit mark price of our rate on most of the things. This the two thousand. Yeah, because it's what you're supposed to give to the customers when they bring back the things. So two thousand. It's what you put, then you get this like this. So 1460 times 2000, which is 2, 920, like that. Then In case you send containers to the customers, so containers sent. So containers sent here in the question, the containers that were sent to the customers were five, six, six. So So for containers, eh, we use the charge out price. The charge out price. This. The two. This is 20,000. 20, this is 25. So here, this will be 20. Anywhere else? Oh, so 
there is a mistake here. It's supposed to be 20. Is it? Yeah, it's 20, not 2. There's the credit back price. The charge out price is 25. This is 20. So this will be 2. Like that. Yeah, it will change a little bit. Oh, the rest are correct. So here, the charge out price is 25,000. So this is going to change. It will change to 29 million. 20,000 times. One four six zero, which is twenty nine two hundred, like that. So here for the containers charged out this time this, which is five six six three times twenty five thousand, and this is one four one. Five seven five like that. Then we say to put container return by the customers. What was returned here? They said the customers returned five one zero four. We multiply by the credit back price, which is twenty. So that times 20, which is 5104 times 20,000, which is 102, 080, like that. Then we also have the containers retained, all caps. We have returned and retained. The containers that we retain were 36 times the credit back price. So this time that, which was 760, like that. Then uh, another thing that we have is closing balance. Yeah, closing balance. The opening balance is this side, then the closing balance will be this side. So balance carried down only in the hands of the customer. This one name eight three. This one name eight three. So one name eight three times the credit mark price. So one nine eight TV times twenty which is thirty nine six six zero like that. And this is the container suspense account. Like, these are the things that we record in there, but the rest of the things, the rate we use the credit mark price to see, except for container sent. Yeah. So, we get the difference we balance. Let's see. 292. Two name this two name two five zero plus one four one. Five seven five. Give me zero. Two. One two. 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 
So when you balance, you, you get the total for here, and then the total for here, the balance that you get here will be the higher charge. It will be the same as the higher charge. So... the same as the higher charge. This is two eight to me one five. That's what you shall get. The other side is greater. Sweet. Yeah, the balancing figure will be the same as the higher church. And that's how you know that your things are correct. So here, 29, 200, plus 1, 4, 1, 5, 7, 8, 8, 8. This side is one seven zero seven seven five okay one seven zero seven seven five because this side is greater than this side so you put the same thing here and here then you subtract this this and this you get this. And that is the container surface account. This is how it looks like. Yeah, we only have five things in it. This side only has balance roll down and container sent. Then this side, containers retain. And then containers return. Then the balance carried down, then you get the higher charge. And that is it. That is all about container accounts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Yeah. We shall catch up in another video about higher purchase.